Hey guys, my name is Sergio and I'm a music video director that does most of his work in Los Angeles. So today I'm actually doing something rather new and we're venturing off into unknown space and today I'm going to do my first virtual production vlog. So what we're going to try to do in this episode is get an Oculus Rift motion controller to uh, pretty much become a virtual camera in Unreal Engine. So. Uh, we'll do that and we'll throw in the Xbox control, see how we set up the Xbox control, and even set up a rig for the virtual camera. So let's just get right into it. That's my dog. That's Koda. Say hi, Koda. Hi. Hey. What we are going to attempt is to begin to set up a small virtual production setup here in my office, and we will get into the what virtual production is in a second but I just want to say the first thing I'm going to try to do today is it shouldn't be too hard is to get oh let's see if we could get this there it is is to get this set up I just went and bought this and that's a story of its own um, I just want to buy this with the cable because we are going to attempt to connect this to Unreal Engine okay so we got the controller to work Let's give you a little example here. Let me click play. Here's a little scene I made, but let's see. You could, oh, you actually have to click once to start. And now you guys can see that. Let me see. It's just got this guy run around. Now you can see that the Xbox remote is now go left, go right. Jump, jump. Okay, we can now see that the remote is controlling or is activated in Unreal Engine. At first, I made the mistake of just plugging in the cord, thinking that the cord would power the control because the light turned on, but uh, nothing was working, so I thought I had to change the inputs. But in reality, the inputs are already set, so you don't have to change anything in Unreal. You just have to put batteries in the remote. So don't be a moron like me and just put the batteries in. Okay, we got the Oculus Rift out. I want to say that I have had the Oculus Rift. I did not just buy it for this reason, but I saw that I could probably use it. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to get this right. I'm hoping, so we'll figure that out. But I've had the Oculus Rift. It comes with the headset, um, these two remotes, one from each hand, and then some sensors to be able to read where you are in the room. My goal is to be able to not only get this to work inside of Unreal Engine 4, but to eventually track a camera to one of the remotes. So we could begin to use the remote as if it's a camera, and then eventually, hopefully, we can attach that to a rig of some sort, maybe a shoulder rig, or maybe a tripod. And then this will really begin to give us these fluid natural movements like we could do on set, but in a virtual set. So that is the beginning of virtual production. That's what I'm going to try to do today. And yeah, I'm going to set this thing up because first I got to set it up through Oculus and the computer. And then from there, we're going to try to get it into uh, Unreal, like I said. Downloading the software. Got the remotes going. Okay, so excuse my hair. I've been taking the uh, VR headset on and off just to try to get this work, but I finally got it. It took me a while, but it's not this one, but if you can see, I've essentially made an actor in Unreal Engine, and this will, this is pretty much tracked to this remote, so if I turn the remote, I'm pretty much turning the actor, right? So I'll go this way, go this way, go this way. That is really cool. And the idea is to now go from this and say, instead of just being a cube, forget the cube, let's put a camera on there so we can 
turn and be the camera. This is what we're trying to achieve right now. So very cool. Let's, let's quit play. Go into the scene. And here we can see that the remote is being tracked to the cube. And there's pretty much a camera in that cube. You can't see the camera, but the camera is, is the cube. So right now when I hit A, I will go into the camera's point of view. There we go. And now the motion control is pretty much being used as a camera. Look at that. Go left, go right, pan down. Okay, so I just wanted to go and talk about a few things about how we got the motion controller to be tracked to a camera. So I created a blueprint. Well, yeah, right click, blueprint class, create an actor. So I created an actor. And in the actor, here it is. In the actor, we, there's the cube so we can see the cube. And in the cube, we put a camera. So that we parent a camera to the cube. So wherever the cube moves, uh, the camera would too. Um, and pretty much in the event graph, this is where all the sauce is happening. We pretty much are. So in the event graph, this is the node setup that we have. Pretty much we're getting the data and we're attaching it to the cube. So we're saying get the data of the motion control and then uh, transform the position and rotation of the cube in order to pretty much do whatever the motion control is doing. So I didn't come up with this myself. I'm actually watching another YouTuber. Um, I will put his information below, but at the same time, this is only one way to do it. All right, so my next step is, I wanna see if I can make a rig out of things I already have. So what I wanna go do is, I wanna go look for everything that I have from all my film gear and see can I put a rig together even if it's a little cheapy rig it might be better than just holding uh, the remote the oculus remote in my hand so I got all this stuff and now we're gonna see if we can put together a small rig of some sort and then from there maybe I can make a better decision of like should I get a Vive tracker instead of using the Rift remote or should I just buy a shoulder rig and to be honest the shoulder rig is pretty expensive and I'm trying to see if I can do this with the materials I already have so far the only thing that I had to buy was the Xbox remote but um, yeah we're gonna see if we can put something together with just random stuff look we got let's see if I can get focus here so we got some clamps I forget the these this is for my grips out there um, I forget what the names are. They have a really cool name. They're these double-sided clamps. They're almost like these clamps for C-stands. Um, but there are actually like two of them, pretty much, that connected to each other. So I really think this is going to do it to hold the control. Um, but we'll see what we put together. So I think this is going to come in handy. These are from my Nucleus M, um, my Tilta set for my follow focus but they're just like really cool handles. I don't actually think the inputs would work. That would be crazy because you could actually like focus with these wheels and stuff, but I'm more so just gonna use these as handles. So hopefully we can attach this. And then uh, I took this from my red camera. So it's pretty much just a base plate. I'm gonna take it and see. I was gonna try to see if we can connect these and then kind of make a rig out of it, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. And then I just got a bunch of other handles and stuff, so we'll see what I can come up with. All right, I think it's the left one, so it's this one. All right, let's see what we got here. Do these, would these screws come out? Okay, so I wanted to update you guys. I've managed to make this so far. Let's see if I can get the autofocus to work. Okay, so I got the base plate and then I stuck one of the tilt-a-handles, but 
I wanted to try to put two handles on here, but I couldn't get it to work. And uh, I, instead, I took this red handle, and look at me now. So not bad. I'm really actually excited about this. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking this better than what my first idea was. So now hopefully we can get the Vive, not the Vive, I mean the Rift controller up here. And uh, get a little rig going. All right. So here it is. Check it out. The finished product. So we got the wooden camera handle to the the nucleus handle onto the base plate and uh, then we put the clamp that clamp I talked about earlier clamped it onto the base plate and then clamped the controller so this is the back of it that's the side of it that's the front pretty straight look at that <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> Oh, I'm excited to try this out. I should probably set up a scene first so it looks cooler. Look at that, look at it. Here it goes. All right, we're going to click play. We'll have our guy just get right up in the camera. And then I'm gonna launch it. Okay. Now we're in there now. Let's see. Where, oh, there he is. Check that out. How cool. We can pan. Okay, so this is a better angle. The camera's a little closer to eye level, so look at that. Let's get him a little closer. Look at that. This is so cool. Can I close this tracked camera thing? Let's see. I think it has to do with what I have selected here. So let's just say we'll select the wall. Click play. Click on the screen. Yeah, there we go. We got rid of that. Look at that. His profile. It's definitely a lag, a little laggy when I go into the game, but I'm sure I can optimize something to make it smoother. Maybe the resolution's too high. Can we get him to face us? Look at that. Nice little shoulder rig action. This rig is not that bad too. Look, that's a good frame right there. Look at that. Give it a little motion. See, this is the motion that you can't really get without these motion controllers. That's why these motion controllers are so cool. They're really bringing, it really makes you feel like you're holding a camera. It really makes you feel like you're on a real set. You can make those micro adjustments. This is amazing. All right, so overall guys, that was a complete success and I had so much fun uh, getting those things to work. So we got the Xbox controller to work. We got the uh, Oculus Rift uh, motion controllers to work inside of Unreal. Uh, we made the rig, you know, and then um, we created the virtual camera too. So overall, complete success. I'm beyond excited and beyond satisfied of what I was able to accomplish the last few days. Um, it did take me a few days, I do want to say that, but uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm looking forward to doing more of these. I'm looking forward to making the camera better, making the camera be able to move. Um, with a joystick, be able to, uh, you know, put some buttons on there like change the lens. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. So I'm really excited to do that. And uh, if you guys do like this stuff, if you guys did like this, enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, and that'll probably inspire me to keep making these. So I'm I'm super excited to join this virtual production community. So um, yeah, I mean, stay tuned to the next one, I guess.